when Ugo Radunone was brought to Jean Dry Lake and saw that there was the last stake of the railroad in the ground, which literally the railroad that made Las Vegas happen, he thought this was a really important site to work within. We've really been focused on working on this federally managed piece of land that offers its own challenges because it's not private, but it's the only site that truly inspired him deeply. MGM International was the very first um, major supporter to step up and they've been there for us through the past five years and they have supported the uh, fabrication and construction of the project and they have also supported us by providing in-kind for the artist and for the producers every time that we come to Las Vegas we stay at ARIA and we're very lucky to stay there. MGM has a long uh, and storied history in supporting the arts. We have long believed that art was an integral part of the resort experience. Seven Magic Mountain wants to give a new layer on the history of land art. Land art was a movement where the artist used natural material and placed it in nature. So the natural material was camouflaging with nature. Seven Magic Mountain takes natural material and sets it also in a natural situation, but by using an artificial color scheme. Seven Magic Mountains was a fabulous project to be involved with, as it's just 20 minutes outside of our city in the desert. And it's right off of I-15, so everybody going to and from um, California gets to see this massive installation, um, either approaching the city or again as they're leaving. And I really felt that it was something that our company would want to be involved in because the city and its community is very important to us. It's not just about our properties here, it's about everything that's surrounding it and what draws a visitor to Las Vegas and its areas. I mean, I knew I wanted to do something with natural material like stone. A year before I came to Las Vegas, I drove through Utah. And in Utah you have stone formation like the Seven Magic Mountain, but there are natural phenomena called hoodoos. So they are directly inspired by those hoodoos. Seven Magic Mountain is painted with the rainbow colors, and the rainbow colors for me symbolize a holistic system of the spectrum, so every color included. They are painted in day glow, so something that turns the, the material, natural material of stone into something artificial.